Hey there everyone, welcome back to another bite sized review. Today we'll be taking a look at a 80s classic. This is Top Gun 1986. This is about an hour and 50 minutes and the, the director is Tony Scott, brother of Ridley Scott, the famous director. Um, so this is an older film. Um, this is based somewhat on the actual Top Gun Naval Flight Academy, that's an actual thing. And what's really cool about this movie and its sequel is that they were both funded by the U.S. military, which is really cool because they gave them all the equipment and everything. And I, f I found that really fascinating because normally that doesn't happen with films, you know. Um, we have a very stacked cast. Uh, it, it's a lot. I'm only going to mention a few of them, but there's a lot of great performances here. Now, keep in mind... I'm not a Top Gun like expert. <laughs> um, I've I've rec just recently got into the franchise. I'm a fan. I'm just not you know as knowledgeable. Um, so yeah, um, just uh, if I get anything wrong, my apologies. Um, obviously, we have Tom Cruise as the main star. He plays Pete Mitchell or Maverick. He's the main uh, character. He's great for following his story as he's. Uh, you know, rising through the ranks as a student at the Top Gun uh, Academy. We have Kelly McGillis as a flight instructor, um, Charlotte Blackwood, or Charlie. She becomes his love interest, and it's actually a really cool, um, it's a really cool thing. Um, fun fact, Kelly McGillis and Tom Cruise actually hated each other in real life for whatever reason, and so... They tried really hard to get along, and somehow it ended up being a love story between them in the uh, in the film. Uh, I just found that really interesting. Um, yeah, whatever reason, they did not like each other. Um, but yeah, she's also the probably the second main character. Uh, we have Val Kilmer as Tom Kazansky, or Iceman, as he's known. And he's a really cool, uh, cool character. Uh, we get to know him a lot. He becomes like kind of like the rival to Maverick in a way because they're both kind of fighting for the top uh, to be the top graduate, which is really cool. Uh, we have Anthony Edwards who plays Nick Bradshaw or Goose, um, Maverick's best friend and uh, co-pilot. He's really important um, in terms of a character, and uh, he's he gets a lot of great uh, great lines, great scenes. Uh, let's see, we have James Tolkien as Commander Stinger. Uh, he's one of the, uh, like, the high-ranking officials there. And you might recognize him from some other fil 80s films. Uh, we have Meg Ryan as Carol Bradshaw, who is uh, Goose's wife. So, yeah, that's all the characters I'm going to name. There's way, there's a lot. So, yeah, but those are, like, the main, main ones. Um, the composer who did the score was Harold Faltermeyer. And um, you, if you've seen Top Gun, you know the theme is really iconic and really well done. Um, the whole soundtrack is well done, especially like Danger Zone. Um, and like, there's so many great songs uh, sp sprinkled throughout this. And um, they're mostly from the 80s, but uh, they're used really well. And um, yeah, there's the, the main story. It's kind of simple. They're all so Maverick is at the school with all these different like pilots and they're all trying to compete to be the best. Well, they're technically the best of the best, but they're all trying to get the um get the top rank and they're trying to like evolve. And so, uh my apologies. I'm not familiar with like a lot of the military terms, but they're just trying to uh they're trying to be the best of the best. So, yeah. Um they all basically to get to graduate they all have to participate in this very deadly mission where they have to fight against these enemy pilots who for some reason they in this in the sequel the the enemies are not really named <laughs> they're not really shown well they're shown obviously but they're not named people the country is not named the mission is kind of generic <laughs> i don't know how else to say it you, they basically had to blow up these enemy fl enemy planes and uh not get killed 
And the jets that they use are F-14 Tomcats, which are very famous and very powerful fighter jets. And um, by the time of the sequel, they've become kind of uh, old. But in this film, they're in their prime. And so they're all trying to destroy these enemy, you know, jets before they, they get killed. So that's kind of the mission, if I'm not mistaken. I've only seen Top Gun once as of this recording. I plan to see it more, but um, that's just what I got. That's what I can remember from it. I see so many movies, my apologies. Uh, sometimes they all get, like, mixed up. But anyway... Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Maverick and, and Iceman are trying to compete and, you know, see who's the best pilot. And they're trying to destroy these enemies. And the enemy pilot jets, they actually look kind of cool. Um, they're like black painted jets with these cool helmets and like the, they have a lot of firepower. And they're pretty, uh, pretty powerful enemies. Uh, whoever they are, <laughs> we don't really know who they are. But yeah, um, I guess it's because they don't want to like point, like point out a specific country you know, to attack, so that kind of makes sense. Um, there are so many great scenes from, like, the the volleyball scene <laughs> to, like, the, the locker room scene, and there's, like, um, a major event happens that is emotional. I'm not going to spoil it, in case you haven't seen it, but you probably already know what it is if you're a fan. Uh, it's a major thing that happens, and um, it changes the whole mood, and so... Yeah, and in the end, Maverick's mission is, like, personal, and so that's very interesting. Um, I think the best scenes in this film are, honestly, there's not a bad scene. There's a love, obviously, the love story between um, Charlie and Maverick is great. That's all, like, really fun. It's a bit cheesy, but in a good way. But, like, I think the best scenes are the action with the Jets I, I just feel like that is, like, the most well-done, like, part of the film. It's just really well-made and well-shot. I think, for the most part, all the jets are real. Um, for the most part. In the sequel, it's it's more real, like, all the jet scenes. But in this film, since it was, like, limited budget and it's an 80s film, the, they had to kind of cut corners and make miniature planes and things like that for certain scenes. Which I think is still cool. Um... It's a great film. It 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 holds up. Um, obviously, I didn't grow up with this film, but um, it's still really really well made. Um, let's see. My favorite character is surprisingly Carol Bradshaw, uh, Meg Ryan. She was actually really well, like, chosen. Like she she has a lot of great uh, scenes with Maverick and of course Goose. Um, so that was great. Uh, to see her, um, my second favorite is probably Iceman. I mean, he's he's awesome. Um, let's see, I'm trying to pick out any bad things. Um, if I'm gonna pick a a bad, if let's see, if there's a con, I guess one of the few cons is that this is an '80s film, so it's kind of cheesy. Like the effects aren't perfect. You know, it's not gonna be top notch. I guess it's it was top notch at the time, but it's not going to be like modern tech. It's it's more like old style filmmaking, which is fine. I think that's that's how it looks so good. Um, but you'll notice it at certain times the effects look a little dated. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's probably like my only complaint. Really, I don't really have any el like other problems with this. I'd say my favorite part. It's probably the mission when they all go after the enemy team and they're like attacking the uh, the enemy pilots and their jets. All that whole final battle is is my favorite part. Um, yeah, I think this is a great film. Um, it took a while to get a sequel, but it uh, got made, which is great. And um, I think this is really well worth a watch if you're a fan of the U.S. military, if you're a fan of Tom Cruise movies, if you're a fan of 80s classics, uh, if you love action, this is great. If you love um, a nice story, nice romance, good emotional drama, this is a wonderful pick. Um, it's a great film. I probably give Top Gun 
probably a 10 out of 10. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this. Um, other than the outdated effects and some of the, some of the, um, the insults are a little, um, questionable <laughs> at times. Um, and there is some language, and more, much more than in the sequel, but that's how it was in the 80s, you know, that's just how everything was done. Um, I love this film, it's great, it's probably one of Tom Cruise's best. Uh, it's not quite a favorite 80s movie for me, but I think on subsequent viewings it probably will be. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's definitely a classic, it's, uh, everyone loves it. So yeah, Top Gun, what do you think about it? Have you seen it? Um, what do you think of the sequel? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know. Have you seen it before? Um, let me know. And I will compare, or not compare, I will um, review the sequel in due time. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and have the need for speed.